Hello. Hello, welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? Mm. Fine, tired. Okay, I'm happy that you are fine. That's excellent. I'm okay, thank you. So let's start with the class tonight. Uh, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? Was it good? Was it interesting? Was it busy? Was it great? How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Nice. Oh, it was nice. Great, teacher. Great, it was great. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Any other answer? How was your weekend? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hello, Luis. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. I have a problem with the energy. Ah, okay. In my case, I have some problem with my internet, internet connection, right? It is working. Okay. Well. I don't know why. So okay. in case you don't listen well or you can see me, just let me know, please. Okay. The platform, let's go with the platform. Do you have any question about the platform? Any problem? Any question, any problem? Any no exercise? No? No. No, no question. No question. Okay, let me know that um, this week we need to complete the meter exam. ¿Quién ya lo hizo? Who has already done it? The meter. Me. Noemi. Okay, Noemi. Me, Alejandra. teacher, Emerita. Emerita, too. Any other? I finished the platform, teacher. Oh, you have already finished the platform? Yes. 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 I okay. see. That was very fast. Congratulations, Luis. Very good job. Thank you. Anyone who has already done this test, the meter exam, is it easy or is it difficult? It was difficult or it was easy for you? For me, it was a little bit easy. A little bit easy, okay. So let's see, you have five exercises in the meter test. I'm going to show you them. Okay, this is the meter and you have five questions, five exercises in this part. And the first one is the listening part. Was it easy or difficult, this listening? This is the listening. The instructions is listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So we are going to listen and we are going to choose the right answer in this part. Then we have the next part, the second part. It fill in the blanks. You need to use the verb to be to complete these sentences. And also in the part two, you need to use the simple present. The simple present and the second part, you have to uh, choose, right? You have to choose the right possessive objective. The right possessive objective, do you remember about possessive objective? Which are they? Which are the possessive objective? Do you remember them? My, my, me, horse, they, yes. or they, it. Okay, excellent. Those are possessive objects, right? The word that we use to show that something belongs to someone, to whom, right? A quien pertenece algo. So you say, my house, your house, our house, their house, their house. her house, his house. And in the second part in this, you have the object pronouns. Tonight we are going to learn the, or we are going to have a review of the object pronouns. And in the fourth exercise, you are going to use the preposition ring. 
eh, o expresiones de tiempo. Right? Preposition of time, preposiciones de tiempo. And, at, in, on. At, in, and on. To complete this exercise. So, do you have an equation about this part? Oh, in the second part, in this, you are going to use the demonstrative pronouns. Which are the demonstrative pronouns? Do you remember them? Demonstrative pronouns. To say esto, aquello, estos. This, aquello. that. This, that. This, that, those. That, those, and this. This. Okay, and the last. The last exercise in the midterm is a reading part. It is this reading passage. Do you have any problem with this? Any new vocabulary in this reading passage? Let me show you. This is the reading passage. This is the reading passage. Ow. Uh, it's an email, right? It's an email. And hi, Ernesto. In your email message, you ask me, what do I do every day? Well, I am a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my classes. I study computer science and Chinese. I go to school around 8 in the morning on weekdays. Around noon, I have lunch with some classmates. On Mondays and Fridays, I work out in the gym before my classes. And in the late afternoon, on Tuesday and Thursday, my friend Daniel and I have part-time jobs. We work in the school cafeteria and I study in the library every week, sorry, every week night until about 2 a.m. I'm a full-time student and I don't have time to watch TV. And what do you do? Send me another email, please. Your new e-friend, Chris. Do you have any new vocabulary in this reading? New vocabulary in this part. Any new work in this? Let's see, for example, what is workout? Workout. What is the meaning of this expression? Workout. I work out in the gym before my classes. What is the meaning of this? Workout. Do you have an idea? Hacer ejercicio. Muy bien. Thank you. Very good job. Hacer ejercicio. Uh, what is the meaning of this word before? Antes. Okay, antes. Well, antes de mis clases. What about noon? We are Medio ready to this vocabulary. Noon. Medio día. Medio día. Excellent. So have lunch. Después de Tomar el almuerzo. almuerzo. Okay, in weeknight, weeknight, every weeknight. Eh, fin de semana, pero en la noche. Oh, no, todas las noches en la semana. Okay. Las noches de la semana. Okay, excellent. And what is the name? De lunes a viernes. Part-time, part-time jobs. Yes, from Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, yes. Part-time job. Part -time. Medio tiempo. Medio yes, tiempo. Thank you. Yes. And let's see, what is the meaning of until? We study this. Hasta. hasta. Okay, hasta. Very good. And let's see. Okay. No new vocabulary in this reading. So then you are going to answer some question about this reading in the midterm test. Do you have any question about this test? No questions? No if, if you don't have any other questions, so let's start with tonight class. In tonight class, we are going to have a review of the first three sections, the section that we have already started. So let's start with that reading. You are going to listen and you are going to answer some questions. So you must pay attention to this. So here we go. The topic for today is the midterm, midterm exam. So if you have any question about this test, uh, you can ask me in this classroom. And tomorrow we are going to start section number four. 
So tonight, meter exam, we're going to start. So welcome to your class number seven. This is related with the meter exam. We are going to discuss the part, or we are going to have a review of the topics that in this test. I am sharing with you my screen, so please let me know if you can see it. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So pay attention to this listening, and then we're going to answer some questions. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what, what size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay, let's see the first question in this listening. And the first question is this. Which size does Ben wear? Which size does Ben wear? Medium. Okay, medium, very good. He wears medium size. The second question is, which shirt does Ben like better? The blue one or the green one? Blue one. The green one. The green one. Okay. Green one. The next question in this part. How much are the green shirts? How much are the green shirts? $42. Forty two dollars. Forty two dollars. Forty two, forty nine, forty one. Um forty one dollars. Let's see the other two dollars. Which material are the blue shirt made of? Which material are the blue shirt made of? Oh, they are made of cotton. Cotton. And the next one? Number five, which material are the green shirt made of? Polyester. Polyester. Okay, polyester. Now let's see if your answer is right. I have here the answer. For number one, which side does Ben wear? Ben wears medium size. For the second one, which shirt does Ben like better? Ben likes better the green ones. Number three, how much are the green shirt? They are $41. And you say 49, 42, but in the listening, 41. And number four, which material item blue shirt made of? They are made of polyester. And which material are the green shirt made of? They are made of cotton. Okay. No, I need to volunteer to practice in this uh, question and answer. Any two volunteers to practice this? I know that it's Monday, but please help me. Help me with this. Any two volunteers? Me, teacher. <clears throat> Crisia. Me, teacher. Crisia and Oscar. Okay, Crisia, can you please read the answer and Oscar the questions, please? Okay. Okay. Um, which size does Ben wear? Ben wears medium size. Uh, which shirts does Ben like better? Ben likes better the green one. Uh, how much are the green shirts? They $41. Which material are the blue shirts made of? They made of polyester. Which material are the green shirts made of? They're made of cotton. 
Thanks a lot. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Christian. Now let's go with the next. In the next slide, we're going to see the transcript of this conversation. What is a transcript? Do you have any idea what is a transcript? Transcription. Okay, here we have. This is the listening transcript of the conversation. So listen again, please, and pay attention to the pronunciation because we're going to practice after we listen it. So here we go. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones. And the green ones are nice, too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay. Any question about this vocabulary? Stylist. <clears throat> what is the meaning of stylist, for example? Stilo. They are very stylish. Stylish. It's like they have a stilo, right? They look very nice. Very nice, yes. Uh, what is the meaning of that expensive? That expensive? Costoso. Caro. Costoso. Okay. Look at the Caro. sentence. Those shirts look nice. Those shirts look nice. The shirts are near or far of Ben. Those shirts look nice. So are they close? or far from Ben? Far. They are far, right? They están lejos de él. They say those. Aquellos, aquellas camisas, o esas camisas look nice. So, which one do you prefer? What is the meaning of this question? Which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál de las dos? Okay, thank you. What size. What's the meaning of size? What size are you? ¿Qué talla eres tú? Ah, okay. What size are you? Who wants to answer that question? What size are you? For X, 5X, triple X, extra large. What size large. are you? Mm -hmm. Large, medium. Small, what size are you? So you say, I wear, I wear medium. In this I case. wear a medium. I wear a, I wear a small. I wear a large. Okay, very good. So I am near to extra life, right? I, I, I am a diet. I think I like the green one better. Better, what's the meaning of this objective? Better. Mejor. Mejor. Mucho mejor. Okay, thank you. So you don't have any other question about vocabulary in this part. It's everything clear. Yes. Then I need to volunteer. Who wants to practice this small conversation? I need to volunteer to practice. If no, I'm going to choose someone. Emerita, thank you. Emerita and any other volunteer, please, tonight? Me, teacher. Thank you, Emily. Emerita and Emily. Can you please start, Emily? Okay, teacher. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, the blue piece. I really like the blue one and the green one are nice too. Which one do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They very stylish. Oh, but look at this price. For the one that's expensive. 
the blue ones are only $29. That, that's more personable. But they polyester, the green ones are made of a bare material. They're Say Ben, what size are you? A small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium one in the blue. They are large and small. Thank you so much, Emily and Emerita. You did a great job in this. I really appreciate your participation. Thank you. That was great. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's see. How do you pronounce this word, guys? How do you pronounce this? Reasonable. Okay, thank you. We say reasonable. Reasonable. And here you say they are. So the correct pronunciation here is there are. There are large and small. There are. Now look at this sentence. Yes, pay attention to this. What is the meaning of this sentence? They do look nice. They do look nice. Why do I have do here? And then a verb. They do look nice. So look at this. We use this type of sentence when we want to make emphasis, right? To add emphasis, so they do look nice, right? Ella sí, ¿verdad? Para decir, ella sí se ven muy bien. Yeah. Ella sí se ven muy bien. Para decir ese, ella sí, ¿verdad? Then agrego el do acá. They do look nice. Ella sí se ven muy bien. So let's go with the next listening. I have another listening here for Anne you. And Ben are talking. We are going to listen this. I'm going to show you the equation now. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. Okay, here are the equation. The first one is, how is Lucy? Where is Sophie from? What is Sophie's last name? Where is Michael's last name? And can you spell Sophie's last name? So let's listen to find out the information, the answer for this question. So. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. Okay, now the question. How is Lucy in this conversation? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, very good. She is pretty good. She is pretty good. Good answer, thank you. Where is Sophie from? She's from Canada. From Canada. Okay, from Canada. she's from Canada, very good. The next one, what is Sophie's last name? Marceau. Okay, her last name is Marceau. And what is Michael's last name? Morse. Okay, Morse. And the last one. Now this question is for you. Can you spell Sophie's last name? Any volunteer? Can you spell Sophie's last name? Okay. <clears throat> S-O-P-H-I-E. Oh, oh, that is the name. That is the name, Sophie. That is okay. But it's a Marcel. last name. Last name. Oh, yes. M O R S E. M O R S E. Okay, thank you. Okay, but that is Michael's last name. 
What is Sophie's Sophie last name? It's M A R C E A U. Okay, thank you, Luis. M M A R C E A U. Thank you, Marceau. Okay, look at this. A WH question. How is Lucy? Where? What? And also where? WH question with the verb to be. Do you remember that? I hope so. Let's see the transcript of this conversation. Oh, here is it. Here is the spelling M A R C E A U. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. Here is the transcript. So listen again, please, and pay attention to the pronunciation. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. Okay. Do you have any questions, new vocabulary in this conversation? No, new vocabulary. The question, how is it going? What is the meaning? We studied this question, how is it going? Do you remember it? Ah, okay, excellent. Which are some answers for this question? How is it going? What are some answers? Let's see, for example, Alejandra, how is it going? Hi. Okay, thank you. Noemi, how is it going? Perdón. How is it going? How is it going? The question is similar to how are you? Fine. Ah, okay, excellent. Jose Luis. Hi. How is it going? Pretty good. Thank you. Emerita, how is it going? Good teacher. Thank you. Daisy Carolina, how is it going? Good. And Julia Nunez, how is it going? I very well. Okay, thanks a lot. So we can use those answers, right? We can use those answers to, to answer to this question. How is it going? Pretty good. I'm very good. I'm very well. I'm excellent. Let's see the next question. Who, what is the meaning of this? WH word, who? Ken. Ken. Okay, who is your friend? Who is your friend? Oh, this is Sophie Merceau. She's from Canada. Let's go to the next. Uh, there is a second part of this conversation. Lucy, Michael, and... And it's this one. So I'm going to show so you... So you're from Canada. Part. Are you from Toronto? Just give me a second. This is the question number one. Are Sylvie and Lucy in the same chemistry class? Is Michael a teacher? Are Sophie and Michael in the same math class? Where is Michael from? And the last one, what does Michael do? So listen the conversation. Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Okay, are Sylvia and Lucy in the same chemistry class? Yes or 
not. Yes. Sidney and Lucy <clears throat> in the same chemistry class. Yes, they are. Okay, let's see the first answer. Yeah. Yes, they are. Thank you. It's Michael, a teacher. No. 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 Yes, he's in. <laughs> No, he isn't. Are Sylvie and Michael in the same math class? Yes, they are. Yes. Yes, they are. Are yeah. you sure? No. Sorry, the answer is no, they aren't. And where is Michael from? Chicago. He is from Chicago. He's from Chicago. Let me ask one, what does Michael do? What is that? What does Michael do? What does Michael do? What does I Michael study do? Math. Student, student. Okay, what is the meaning of the equation? What does Michael do? What is the meaning of this question? ¿Qué hace Michael? Okay, excellent. A qué se dedica? So the answer is he's a student. He's a student. Any to volunteer to practice this question and answer, please. This the first three question are yes no question with the verb. We study this part in the second class, I guess. So yes, no question. And also W word questions with the verb B and also with the simple present. Any to volunteer to practice? Answer, ask an answer question, please. Any to volunteer tonight? Me, Betty. Thank you, Betty. Any other volunteer? Help me with this. And me, teacher, Alejandra. Thank you, Alejandra. Can you please? Alejandra, read the question and Betty the answers, please. Okay. Are Silva and Lucy in the same trimester class? Yes, they are. Is Michael a teacher? No, he isn't. Are Sophie and Michael in the same math class? No, they aren't. Where is Michael from? He's from Chicago. What does Michael do? He's a student. Okay, thank you so much. So this word chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. And the last one, student, student. He's a student. Student. Okay. Thank you so much. So let's go with the next. Here is the triangle of this conversation. Just listen this one. Just listen. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Okay. Do you have any question? Any new vocabulary in this part? Any new vocabulary here? Hey, I'm sorry for this. Hey, here's the word it is. By the way. By the way, which means a proposito. By the way, a proposito. So forget it about this word. By the way, this is not here, right? I'm sorry. By the way, he is from Canada too. Really? Any new vocabulary in this part? No? I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation, please. Any volunteer tonight? Teacher. Who wants to me? Help teacher. Me? Okay. Me teacher Daisy and Margarita, okay. Can you please start, Daisy? So, you are from Canada? Are you from Toronto? No, I am from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? 
I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I and I are the some chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he is from Canada too. Sylvia, really. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Thank you, that was great. So if you don't have any other question, this is the listening that you are going to find in the midterm test. So I hope it is helpful for you when taking the test. So let's go with this. We are going to solve the following exercise. You need to choose or to write the correct way Sorry, the correct form of the verb to be to complete these sentences. The first one, what is the correct form of the verb to be to complete this sentence? Miss Taylor's our math teacher. Is oh. Is. Okay. Is Miss Taylor is our math teacher. What about the second one, Helen and I? Are, are, um. Oh, you say am or are? Are. 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 Okay. Helen and I are in the same class. Sally and Amy. Are. Are. Oh, are again. Sally and Amy are teachers. We are. In we are. Time, we are students. We are. We are students here. And the next one. Yes. 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 Okay. So, do you have any problem using the verb be? I can see that you did it quickly, right? So, remember, in simple present, the verb be has three forms am, um, is, and also are, which is the third one. So can you tell me an example using an? Can you please tell me an example using this an? Give me an example using am in a sentence. I am from Mexico. Excellent. Thank you, Emily. I am from Mexico. Any other example? I, I am, am a teacher. A student here. Okay, I am a student here. Muy bien. I am a teacher. Any other? I am Sofia's mother. Okay, I am Sofia's mother. Thank you. I am Sofia. So the mother, thank you. Any other example? The last example, please. We are students. Okay, that is plural. We are students. We are students. Thank you so much. So any volunteer to read these sentences, please. Who wants to try this? Help me reading the sentences, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, Margarita. Me, teacher. Ok, vamos a ir una y una. Una Margarita, una Noemi. Ok. Miss Taylor is our math teacher. Helen. Uh, Helen and I, and I are in the same class. Sally and Amy are teachers. We are students here. Rosie is my classmate. Thank you so much. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you, Margarita. Then let's go with the next exercise. Can you please complete these questions? 
we are going to use the auxiliary do and does to complete this. And also the simple present of the verbs. Where do they work? Where do they work? Okay, excellent. In the person, we need do to complete this question. Where do they work? What does Brian do? What does Brian do? Okay, thank you. What does what does Brian do? In the next one, where does she go to school? Where does she go to school? Where does she go to school? And then, easy work in this part. Uh, can you please Why? talk with your microphone? We're having like a party right at your house. Martha flies. Hey, Martha okay. flies. Okay, it's, it's in this way. Martha flies airplane. Is it correct? Is the sentence correct? Does flies. It's an affirmative sentence. Yes. It's an affirmative sentence. Es una oración afirmativa. Is it correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Let's go to the next one. And the next one, Kevin. The verb is this. Go. The verb is go in this sentence. Go is going. 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 Fixes. 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 Fixes.
Uh, no more questions in this part. Then let's see like this. Okay, let's go with the next exercise. Okay, we are going to use possessive adjective to complete the following sentences. Do you remember possessive adjectives, right? I asked you at the beginning of the class and you say, yes, we remember them. ¿Cuáles son los adjetivos posesivos? Your. Your. Okay, your is one. Which other one? Hair. Hair, yes. Kiss. Yes, thank you. My, me. Our. My. Me. My. Our. Our. One is missing. Air. 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 There still one is missing. Yeah. What is the other one? It's okay, perfect. It's. It's. So these are the possessive adjectives: your, her, his, my, our, there, and also it. So which one of these I need to complete the first sentence? The cat is very cute. It's Ben. It's Ben. Okay, your. thank you. Its name is Ben. We are at the school. Oh, oh, oh. 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 school is very nice. Our. 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 Our school okay. is very nice. And what's the girl's name? Her. Her, Her name. Her. Her name is Kitty. Okay, thank you so much. Say her name is Kitty. Yeah. I have a new laptop. It, it, it's my, my laptop. My laptop is white. The Smith, the Smith have a new car. Dave. 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 Okay, excellent. Their card is blue. Mark has a brother. Mark He's has a brother. Her name. His name. Is it his or her? Her name. Her name. She's. His. His name. Her. Her because she's. 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 His name. His name. His name is. His name. His brother. His. Okay. So you are right. Okay. His name is Nate. Mark has a brother. His name is Nate. Thank you so much. Any volunteer to practice this? From one to three. Las primeras tres. And then from four to six. Any volunteer to read the three first sentence? Carmen. Okay, thank you, Carmen. Y el resto de oraciones en América. So you can start, Carmen, please. Okay. The cat is very cute. His name is Ben. We are school. Our school is very nice. What the girl name? Her name is Kathy. I have a new laptop. My laptop is white. The Smith have a new car. They, their car is blue. Mar has a brother. His name is Nap. Okay, thank you. So don't forget about this. Possessive adjectives. Your, her, his, my, our, their, and it. And to finish tonight's class, I have these uh, object pronouns. But let me erase this. See how the notes. And let's go with this. Here is object pronouns. So we have personal pronouns, right? Any volunteer to read the personal pronouns in this part? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Luis. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Thank you. So every personal pronoun has an object pronouns. In the personal object pronouns, I like this me, you, him, her. It, us, you, you and them. them. And then, 
Oh, which are they different? So personal pronouns, they do the action, right? They do the action. And in the case of personal object pronouns, they receive the action. Vamos a utilizar un objeto de pronombre, ¿verdad? Cuando este reciba la acción. Let's take a look at the following examples. He's looking at me. He is looking at me. I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. I call him when I need his help. I call him when I need his help. Music is energy for heart. The dog is sleeping. Leave it alone. This concert is very important for us. We need to work with you. I know Sam and Rob. I study with them. So in the first sentence, he is looking at me. So el que está haciendo la acción, está mirando. Now let's see, ¿a quién está mirando? At me. Entonces acá el objeto del pronombre recibe la acción. I need to tell you something. Necesito decirte algo a ti. I need to tell you something. I call him. I call him. Yo hice la acción, ¿verdad? I call. ¿Quién la recibió? Él, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí necesito un object pronouns. I call him. Y the music is energy for her. So, ¿para quién es energía la música? Para ella. Sí. Ella sí. recibe la acción. Here. Here. The dog is sleeping. Leave it alone. So leave it alone. Déjelo solo al perro. So, leave it. The concert is very important for us. ¿Para quién es importante el concierto? Para nosotros. nosotros. For us. We need to work with you. Necesitamos trabajar con quién? Con contigo. 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 I, I know Sam and Rob. I study with them. Conozco a San y Rob. Yo estudio con ellos. Ellos. Okay. Do you have any question about this? Let's solve some exercise. Okay, let's see the first one. Look at this. Here we go. Number one. I dance with. Then here we're going to complete. And with me. Here the name I is Lucy. I dance with her. 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 And here is the cares. ¿Cuál sería el objeto del pronombre de object pronouns? What is the correct? Ustedes. Ah. Nosotros. So them. Dimos a ellas. Them. 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 Sería them. them. El siguiente ejemplo. The chocolate, the chocolate are for me. Oh, the chocolate are for us. Oh, my. Right. Okay. Then let's see. The person that pronounces this. What is the object pronounce? Me. For you. For you. Okay, excellent. Let's go with the next. Number four. Look at this sentence. Let's see. Nobody listen to 
And the personal pronouns is this. What is the object pronouns in the sentence? Me. Me. Okay. Me. Nobody listen to me. ¿Ya se han quejado de eso? Nobody listen to me. Nadie me escucha. Nobody listens to me. Nadie me escucha. Escucha. And then see. I will call. No quiere el nombre de William. ¿Cuál sería el objeto del pronombre? If I don't want to say. Him. 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 I call him. Him. Later. Okay. Is it easy or difficult? I will call. Easy. Easy. Yes, later. Him later. Well, okay, let's complete this. What is the first one? I dance with. Yeah. What is the right answer for the first one? I dance with. Hair, 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 hair. hair. Thank you. Yeah. We saw the girls. We saw them. And we saw the the chocolates are you for you for you for you nobody listen to me I will call him later him I will call him later okay do you have any question not question no question no question no question, no question. Okay. So remember, please, that this week you have to take the meter exam. So thank you for your attention, for your participation. Have a good night. Uh, just please forget about the platform exercises. It's important that, that you continue working on that, right? And today, today and tomorrow to take the meter test. Don't forget about that. Eh, tienen que tomar el examen, ¿verdad? Tienen que hacerlo durante este día o mañana. Right? So if you have an equation, just write on the WhatsApp group, right? So thank you so much. Eh, see you tomorrow. Have see you tomorrow, good... teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Yes. Este, tengo una pregunta, pero eh, con respecto a la plataforma. Yes, tell me, what is your question? Este, la plataforma me dice que la cuenta que yo tengo es que está activada como asesor que esa cuenta eh, no voy a recibir como un certificado del curso. Uh, no sé si así les aparece todos o yo me... Um, can you please take a screenshot, please, and send it to me, please? Send it to me, please. Take a screenshot and send it to my WhatsApp, please. And I'm going to ask. Ok. Tómele una captura y me la manda al WhatsApp personal y yo voy a preguntar, a ver qué sucede con su cuenta. Bye. Gracias. Ok. ¿Any other question? Eh, Merita, Brian, Wendy, do you have a question? Can I help you with something? No. No questions. Then see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night.